Good evening, folks. Another episode and installment on overshot flaking. I'm Spirit of the Rock, Stan Pearson. What I'm doing tonight is experimenting with uh, controlling overshot and directing the overshot direction. What I've got here is a piece of raw Texas material, and what I've done was already set up a um did my setup to steer this overshot in the direction I wanted it to go. And what I did was take steep flakes here and steep flakes here and also longer steep flakes from this side to set up this curving ridge. And it'll run down this side, comes across the face, down the side. And you can see I drew it on with magic marker where it comes across here, then turns and comes this way. And what we're going to attempt to do is strike this thing, set up an isolated platform here, strike it here, make that overshot come this way, and then bend with the ridge and come down and take a nice overshot flake that cleans off near edge to this side and uh, takes this face off here. So we'll get started and give it a shot and see what happens. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to put it on the outside of my leg, turned up pretty good. And I tell you, I better put on a glove for this. I do put my glove. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've done something with my glove. Where did I put that thing? Oh, there it is. Be right back. All right. Safety first. All right. Let's see what will happen with this thing. I'm going to put it on the outside of my leg here. And uh, I'm going to swing, use my moose billet, and I'm going to press it into my leg a little bit, and we'll see what happens. I've had some success with this. Out of ten pieces, maybe like six are successful, four don't work. So we'll have to, as I said, it's an experiment. We'll see what happens. You know, let's line her up and give it a shot. Let me grab a little bigger moose with a little more horsepower to it. That one's not got enough juice in it, I guess. Right, it broke up some. And let's see if we can piece this back together. It turned like we wanted it to, but it didn't cut deep as I would have liked for it to. I don't know if you can see all these little pieces or not. But you see, it did come here, and it turned and terminated right there. As you can see, the flake I was hoping to get. But that in itself, even though it wasn't as deep or nice a flake as I wanted, proves that you can uh, direct a overshot flake by setting up a ridge that comes across and then turns. You can take all that away, and you can see the flake started here came across to that ridge line and then turned and it went right along my line here and it just stopped short. It didn't quite undercut as much as I wanted to. It came this far so it went almost the distance but I would have liked for it to you know take the rest of that out. And uh, But that's the example and the, the experiment I was doing. See if it would turn, follow that ridge and it did. And uh, if I had to set my ridge up